Hello everyone, welcome back to Mr. Random Generator. In this video, we will be going over package managers. So what are package managers? They are basically programs that help you to install or remove, or basically just update other programs. Well, you might ask that, why can I install programs manually by using an installer just like any other program? And uh, this is a great question with real simple explanation. You don't want to install programs manually because it is harder to manage. Maybe you could get away with few programs, but imagine you have hundreds of dependencies in your project. It will quickly become a nightmare to manage them. So this is the reason why we use package managers. It is great, but how do we start using them? They, they are simple to use, but like many things, uh, what you will use depends on your needs and your purpose. In general, we can split package managers like into two parts. First one is OS-based package managers and second one is language-based. So, OS-based package managers are the ones you can think as managing regular software on your PC, not exactly or specific to programming. Using them are obviously not necessary, but it could save you a ton of time and it also probably give you some security. So let's name a few. For Windows, Ninite and Chakuli are popular options. Ninite also lets you to select which apps you want to manage before installing itself, which is a pretty cool option to have. If we move on to the Mac, we also have two main options, Homebrew and Mac ports. Homebrew is basically what everyone uses nowadays because it is awesome and many programs do have homebrew package. As for the Linux, the gold standard package manager is obviously APT, which stands for Advanced Package Tool. If you use Linux before, I'm sure that you have encountered it at least few times. YAM is also a great option for Linux, which interestingly stands for Yellow Dog Updater Modified. I have absolutely no clue where that name comes from. But if you do, please let me know in the comments below. Anyway, now let's look at the language-based package managers. Those ones are specific to the language. and It is almost a must to use them when it comes to developing applications. For JavaScript, we have NPM and Yarn. By using those, you can almost develop whatever you want. There is a huge selection of packages available. For the Python, Similar alternatives are Conda and Pip. Just like the JavaScript ones, those package managers have vast selection of available packages. However, under the hood, they rely on virtual environments to work. This is a whole another subject to discuss. Maybe I can do a future video about that. Anyway, next mostly used packages are Gradle and Maven for Java and Composer for PHP. But if you want to look other languages, things got a bit crazy here and this video would probably be around 2 hours long. So, you are better by figuring those yourself out. There are tons of amazing package managers. I hope you like this introductory approach to package managers. If that is the case, please make sure to hit the like button and consider subscribing. See you next time. Take care.